Tuesday's election sent three New Jersey mayors back into office and sent two packing. Irvington's mayor-elect fills an empty mayor seat, and the mayor's race in Trenton is undecided. But the new mayor of Patterson, who's replacing a woman who'd replaced a convicted felon, is facing arguably the biggest challenge. Mayor-elect Andre Saya joins senior correspondent David Cruz. You are the child of immigrants, right? You're, is it Lebanese and Syrian? Correct. Yeah. So the son of immigrants in an immigrant city, it's got to, that's got to feel a little special, right? It, it certainly does. And Patterson's the only home I've ever known. I actually was raised by my mother, so a single immigrant who drove a bus, and she was a driving force in my life. And what she wanted was for my brother and me to get a quality education. I went to Seton Hall University, graduated at the top of my class, and then earned my master's degree from Columbia University in public policy and administration. So this is third time's the charm, right? We, <laughs> and we saw each other. And you're out. Right. You're a we, fellow Mets fan. You know what suffering's all yes. about, David. We saw you on Friday, and um, you said, if I don't win this time, that I, I just can't run again. Right. But this has been, uh, I mean, a 12 years of a journey to this position. Correct. Right? Well, like I stated before, I'm a proud Pattersonian, and I felt deeply that this is Patterson's time. Patterson's waiting to happen. Newark is happening. Jersey City has happened. Camden is happening as well. It's Patterson's turn. We got all the right ingredients, David. We have geography. We're in the backyard of New York City. We have the diversity. We have 72 different ethnic groups. And we have the history. We're the first planned industrial city in the United States founded by Alexander Hamilton. So all the ingredients are there. We just needed the right chef to stir the pot for Patterson. It seems to me it feels like it's a great old house that needs like a gut rehab. Correct. That's the kind of feeling I get. Well, that's something I stated on the. Did you, did you see oh, what I said? Oh, no, okay. Right, okay. no, 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 no. <laughs> I said, look, Pat's the only home I ever know. We're in need of home improvement. Yeah. And I believe I'm the right repairman for the city. So where does it begin? I mean, you've <laughs> right. got everything from crime, uh, unemployment, stagnant economic development. What's the first thing you got to do? Public safety. We have a very yeah. capable police director in Jerry Spezial. We're seeing a reduction in crime, but we obviously have some more work cut out for us. We're going to be hiring 25 cops this summer. Then next year, there's the potential of 70 retirements within the police department, which conceivably, if they all retire, and 59% of them are supervisory roles, for every one that retires, we could potentially hire two police officers. Now, how will we deploy them? I want to see more foot patrol. I want these individuals, these officers, to be patrolling the neighborhoods on foot that they're supposed to protect and serve. And then we want to bolster our narcotics unit because we do have a drug, drug epidemic, unfortunately, in Patterson. And then if my vision comes to fruition of turning the Great Falls National Park into a top-notch tourist attraction, you're going to need a metro division within the police department to patrol that area. Well, that's very optimistic. We'll get to some of the things about that, that you need to monetize uh, to, to get some economic Correct. activity in, in the city as well. But the reality is um, that despite your huge victory, you won every ward, 95% of the precincts in town, still two of the three people who ran for the at-large seats are against you. You don't have a council majority, do you? I don't. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, that's got to be part of job one also, right? Correct. It's all about cultivation. I mean, that's essentially how we won. We, we made net gains. Yeah. So there were people in the past, in 2014, that weren't with us. We were able to create this multicultural coalition. It, the message of one Patterson resonated because I said we're six wars, but one Patterson, 146,000. How do you get there, though? How do we get there? Yeah. Well, it's I mean, a, how do you get it, to getting a council that right. works with you, et cetera? It's about getting buy-in on the vision. I mean, I, in all my years in the council, I've been there for 10 years, I can't recall the mayor and council at least going on retreat and discussing what our respective visions are for this, yeah. aligning our efforts. We all come in with an agenda, right? But I feel like the common ground we can find is on common goals, public safety, economic development, quality of life. So like a weekend at Passaic County... Uh, community, community college, college at the Hamilton Club. Right. Did you read my mind? Or have you been like following me no. or something, David? Okay. <laughs> I would never dare th research a story that I was working on, man. <laughs> Don't ever accuse me of that. But uh, on a more serious note, the two of the last three mayors in, in this city have either left in handcuffs or been censured by the governing body. Uh, <clears throat> voter participation was down this year. Right. We were there last week and we've been over the past year. Uh, a lot of voters and residents who don't vote just have had it up to here. Yes, they have. How do you change that around? What message right. do you bring to them to say, listen, 
in four years, you're not going to see me, you know, doing some of the things that my predecessors have. Pattersonians deserve good government. They got to get a return on their investment. They're paying high taxes. So the mayor has to be a presence. And in addition to be a presence, the mayor has to be transparent. So I'm working on a first rate transition team, turnkey that into an administration that reflects the population and that is comprised of high quality cabinet officers. So job one is stopping crime, Correct. creating economic development, all of these things. I mean, do you feel a little bit like, what have I done here? <laughs> well, there's some projects we're working on that are essentially going to manifest within the first 100 days. The Great Falls is undergoing a $3 million renovation. So we'll be cutting we the ribbon. saw a lot of that work going on. You saw on. that. Yeah, yeah. So we're cutting the ribbon on an amphitheater. The police officers will be hired by the time I take office. And then also... I'd like to bring in a grant writer. Patterson doesn't have a grant writer. It's very important. There's money out there that is just out for other municipalities, and Patterson's not really competitive in that area. And, and you really have to showcase the diversity because there's so many communities that are, that are thriving in Patterson that you don't hear about. Well, I represent the 6th Ward. South Patterson is by far the most vibrant business district. Union Avenue has a large Bengali population. I want to get them to that point as well. But you use the operative word, monetize. Yeah. We've got to monetize our diversity. We've got to capitalize on it. And the, and the false. All right, Mayor Andre Saya, congratulations, David, and thank we'll you. see you out there. David, I want to make a special presentation here. Oh, I know that you've been I to tried Patterson. to get you to give me yes. that yes, last when week. I was there, yeah. Well, right now, it's all yours, David. Well, thank you, Mayor. I it love says, Patterson, and I hope you do, too. I love too. Patterson. Pretty cool. Thanks, Mayor-elect. Thank you.